What's up, YouTube? Irish Goose MC Vent. And this is our blackout bag. Dun dun dun. Alright, what's up, guys and gals? So, we're doing the blackout bag today. If you guys and gals don't know, that was super loud. So, anyways, I talked about this in the um, series I'm doing on National Preparedness Month. Um, you can't really tell from this, but this is the glow in the dark um, duct tape. And over here we have a pack light. Awesome little thing, charges up, and then glows in the dark. So if you leave this sitting somewhere um, in sunlight or electric powered light, um, when the lights go out, this will this will light up for you, so you can find your your blackout bag, lights out bag, whatever you want to call it, pack light. Um, and then of course duct tape brand glow in the dark duct tape. Now we'll get into this so some of the things we covered um, in our family's um, blackout bag or lights out bag is lighting so when the lights go out you find the glow in the dark bag or you, they might have a glow in the dark bag um, and you get to work right so there's many options for lighting um, but the one thing you want to have is this. So this here is a weather radio station. Labor Day and Monday night, mostly clear. And when it's set to alert and it's turned on, it'll automatically receive weather alerts for your area. This is the small version that you can carry in your car. And it does the same thing. Turn it on, get it, pull the antenna out. And this is a little cool, cool little compact one. In the mid 60s. Once you pull the antenna out, night, it starts playing. But on the side, you can switch to alert. Now this is sold at big box stores, intro webs, um, probably the Amazons. But this is really cool. You put it in your car. Um, just make sure you check the batteries frequently, um, as I'll show you here shortly. That way you don't leave the batteries and stuff. Thank you, kids. But, anyways, so we got the weather radio covered, right? So you can get that one. That one for your base. Mobile. Um, another mobile one you can get is one of these and program it for no weather radio. All right. So then once you get to your bag, what's in the bag? Well, um, let me get to this too. Another lighting option is this. Um, if you leave this plugged in, um, or charge. Um, you could also hang this on a backpack, computer, whatever. Um, here's my cabin. Um, these are emergency preparedness lights too. Um, as you can see it's on right now but it's powered by electricity. Power goes out, automatically comes on and lights the area. Um, it also has a flashlight option so that that lights up. And then you have a flashlight you can carry around. So or you can turn it off, but when it's on, it's on. So you can light your hallways, any place you want lit in case the power goes out. And these are made by Ameritech or Intertech, and they just plug straight into the wall. And they have a light sensor on them, so whenever you turn the light on, they go off. So, but as you watch, if you plug it back in, if I can do that, it goes to a dim mode. So it's kind of like a nightlight slash. Um, it's a night light slash emergency light. All right, so with the lights on, light goes off. All right, so now that we can see everything, um, another good option. Uh, this is by Light All. Mm, lights all, two and one has a high and a low. And it also, I think they make one that expands. I'm not sure if this is the one that expands. Oh, yeah, lantern to flashlight. Anyways, this is a cool new thing I found. Um, it was laying on top of the bag when I grabbed it, so I wanted to show you guys that too. Um, another radio option is this, so you can listen to local uh, FM AM. This does take three triple two AA batteries. So I have a pack of batteries in there for that. Uh, shortwave radio as well. Um, these are fairly cheap, I think 10 bucks on the 
on this place here. If you support this place, that's where you can get that stuff at. All right, so another thing we have um, is two big lighters in our lights out bag. So we can light all the candles the wife buys at Yankee Candle. Um, <laughs> or whatever candle she buys. So here's a couple of these empty containers from some kind of Glade candles or something she purchased. I think they're Glade. But anyways, you want to have something to put your candles in, right? Here we have two emergency candles that burn for eight hours a piece by UCO, I believe. And they'll go in said containers. Ta-da! Um, and if you really, really got a lot of hard time, that you're gonna be without light and you don't want to waste your batteries, you can do Crisco and braided candle wick. Five. I think you can put five in here, five wicks, and have a five, five wick burning candle. Flashlight assortments. So um, these get used a lot, so you can see uh, batteries are dim in that one. So check your stuff. That one's still pretty bright. This one has no battery, AAA batteries. But I didn't check after the last power outage, which we have frequently here, and the kids had left this in there. So now this Brinks, Brinkman headlight is ruined. Um, so make sure you check that. Um, another thing with lights, you wanna have uh, something to light it, right? So I showed you the, the handy dandy bits. But if you have a box of these, you have 300 potentially um, striking devices. Um, also lights, more lights. Um, this is just for PSA. If you have kids, put these on their backpacks so that they're not unprepared. Um, I put them on all my kids' backpacks. Uh, has two 2016 lithium batteries and they're fairly light, they're fairly bright. And whenever they need light, just a little bit, they'll have it with them. Also, on to the kids. Um, these things are hard to keep if they know they're in there, if you have young kids. But uh, glow sticks, glow bracelets, and uh, just cheapo glow sticks. So that they can have something to do. Um, and sense of security. If uh, your children are afraid of the dark, might or not, but we've always had them, so I kept them in there. Something to play while the lights are out standard bicycle cards um there was uh an uno deck in there but i think they've scavenged that too so it's always good um when you do stuff to check your stuff right and one more thing on lighting so these things here are rugged light packs they are magnetic and i think they're made by cobalt maybe they look like cobalt stuff anyways they sell them at lowe's and you can magnetize them to stuff, they're rubberized, you can throw them, set them in the floor, stick them on your wife's pot rack, um, so you can work if she has a pot rack. Stick them from the ceiling fan, um, and then you have lights. So, 50 lumens, battery operated. So what I don't have in here um, that I will tell you about is rechargeable batteries. I've used many uh, different rechargeable batteries, Renergy, um, I can't remember them all, um, but those things can charge uh, on a smart charger and you'll have them ready, but for something like this, you just have this and have it ready to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I talked about that. So anyways, get this, put it in your car, take it with you, put it in your purse, whatever. It's got a handy dandy little strap you can put on it, but once you pull the antenna out, you always have weather radio notifications it's super small um, there it is compared to the radiant light and then you can always it's one of those things when your wife or husband whoever buys candles when they say oh honey we need candles <laughs> or I want to buy these candles sure um, I mean I pick them up at yard sales wherever I can get them at and um, as a matter of fact that radio shack weather radio came from the Goodwill so if you have one of those in your area, check it out. And uh, there you go. All right, well guys and gals, I hope this was helpful. Um, this is our blackout bag, or lights out bag. If you found it helpful, leave us a thumbs up. 
If you didn't, leave us a thumbs down. But you can also leave your pitches, moans, comments in the comment section below. I'm Irish ESMC Vet. Simplify Godspeed and get prepared. Have a great day.